dad, Mr. Heiser, was an exemplary corporate citizen and a gifted inventor and entrepreneur. It has been said that whenever Mr. Heiser had an idea about how to make something better, quicker, or easier, all he had to do was walk out to the shop floor to assess its viability and commercial potential. Just a few weeks before his death in 1999, Mr. Heiser gave the Community Foundation of Louisville an amazing gift. Five million dollars. That dollar amount is impressive. But it was his vision for that gift that is truly amazing. Mr. Heiser knew he wanted to give back to Louisville, the hometown he loved, and he entrusted us, the Community Foundation, with carrying out his legacy. So we worked with him to create a permanent $5 million fund we call the Vote, Invention, and Innovation Fund. Mr. Heiser was a tinkerer, a garage inventor, if you will. He wanted to support other inventors to take their ideas out of the garage or basement or kitchen table and build a business, not just anywhere, but a business in Louisville, Kentucky. We launched the Vote Awards in 2000, and since then we have awarded more than $2 million to over 50 companies. The program certainly evolved over time. It's not the same process or award as when we first started. But as stewards of this endowment, it's been our responsibility to continually assess and to make sure that Mr. Heiser's original vision is complete. I think you'd be pleased with the program as it is today and that he'd be very proud of the four winners. I bet he wished he could be here today talking with you about your projects. Uh, let me share just a couple of minutes of how we got uh, to today. After more than six months of redesign, our partners at GLI's Enterprise, Enterprise Core issued a call for applications early in 2013, and they received 36 by the mid-May de deadline. The Vote Selection Committee evaluated those proposals and invited eight to give a pitch on July 26th right here in this room. The finalists were narrowed to the four winners we have today. Now typically this would be an opportunity for me to introduce the Selection Committee and all the volunteers, but one of the things we try to do with the Vote Awards is try to keep that not really a top secret thing, but a sort of top secret thing. I see some people nodding, so some of those folks might be in the room, but I'm not going to give you any more clues, clues than that. So what do you get as a vote award winner? First, a $20,000 development grant that provides access to cutting edge prototyping and manufacturing tools, mentorship in technology, engineering, and business, a 10-week training course, I guess it really all started last night, uh, for startups and early stage companies, plus additional manufacturing focused classes, connections with investors, partners, suppliers, and customers, and Participation is something I'm, I know many of us are really excited about, Vote Demo Day. Uh, this is the day where regional investors will come together and where one company will be selected for an award, an additional award of up to $100,000 from the Vote Invention and Innovation Fund. I'd like to invite a few people to join me at the podium as we make these awards. Ty Adams is chair of the Vote Selection Committee. Thank you, Ty. Tendai Chir Cherisika, I say it all the time, and thank you very much. He's executive director of GLI's Enterprise Core. Of course, Mayor Greg Fisher, a champion of innovation. And last but not least, Henry Heiser, Jr., an outstanding citizen and philanthropist, and the son of Mr. Heiser. I want to thank our volunteers who are here today. Uh, we have, as I said, selection committee members and guest reviewers, as well as some others who will provide prof professional mentorship to our winners. Uh, I think. Do you have, who do you have, Tendai as your mentor? Good luck. <laughs> it's all good. I'm just kidding. Thank you. We're grateful for your hard work and commitment. I'm going to announce who is receiving a 2013 vote award, and Ty Adams will share a few comments on why they were selected. I'll announce them in alphabetical order. First is Baby Locity, LLC. Come on up. Baby Locity. I love this company. I went to the website this morning and it said that having a baby will change your life. I think moms and dads and grandparents and aunts and uncles can all say that. It does change your life. And uh, I'm just so impressed by this. Um, I mentioned that I'd gone all the way to China to adopt my daughter and I forgot the darn baby bottles. And it was, you think that you're just sort of born knowing how to do all that mixing and stuff. You're not. 
and you're taking care of it for us. Thank you. She's designing high quality innovative products for babies on the go. Its first product is the Mix and Go, an all-in-one baby feeding bottle, a practical solution for moms who are formula feeding their babies when they are away from home. The Mix and Go utilizes separate compartments for water and formula in one comprehensive unit. I think you designed this for your baby Porter, who is now four years old. Accepting the award is Lashana Harris, JD, CEO and founder of Babylocity LLC. You have to greatly admire an entrepreneur who's so singularly focused on solving a problem for working and busy moms, nursing moms. Development was bootstrapped, and Lashana's legal background helped identify key competitive opportunities and the freedom to operate. Timing is excellent for her to participate in Nucleus Launch Entrepreneurial Training Program and have an impact ensuring exploration and validation of the business model. Congratulations. All right, next is Liberate Medical. Before I invite him to come up, I said, I've met everyone but Liberate Ma Medical. And Mike Schultz said to me, he's over there. And I said, that guy? And I said that because he's so young. <laughs> but he's accomplished so much. Angus, why don't you come on up? Angus McLachlan from Scotland and his partner, Larry yes. Horn. Yep. Come on up. <laughs> Liberate, let me tell you about Liberate Medical. Liberate Medical. They've created some devices that are designed to improve, quite down back there, designed to improve the quality of life and reduce medical costs for patients with respiratory complications. Liberate Medical is developing two devices. The first is called Vent Free. It's really a physician's tool which is designed for the hospital setting. When you see someone on a medical ventilator, I, I also went to your website and I happen to know someone who's on a medical ventilator, really difficult to wean someone off that kind of ventilator and so you've come up with a a great way to do that, and, and um, I know many people and physicians will appreciate it. That's really for the hospital setting. Second Breath is a wearable assistive device designed to enhance breathing in patients with COPD. I've heard about COPD, you see it on the commercials and so forth, but I actually didn't exactly know what it meant. It's chronic obstructive pul pulmonary disease, and from what I understand, it's one of the major lung diseases in the country and in the world. So accepting the award is Angus, and founder of Liberate Med Medical, and he's joined by Larry, Horn, Larry Horn. It's a medical device company with a brilliant product concept, seasoned and storied co-inventors and a rock star business development team, Larry Horn and Angus. The selection committee feels a strong theme will improve the quality of care and reduce cost of health care for those with difficulty weaning off uh, mechanical ventilation in patients with COPD and leverage the resources in the Louisville regional area. Next is Bob Box. I'm going to invite the father-son team of Bob and Dustin Stanley to come on up. Modbox is a manufacturer of modular style job site storage boxes for a wide array of targets including large and small contractors, shipbuilders, and the military. The whole idea, and correct me, Mr. Stanley's if I'm wrong, is that if you're on a job site, it's a great way to secure your tools and your products in a safe way. You don't have to cart them back and forth. Sounds efficient and pretty smart to me. It reduces, as I said, shipping costs and storage volume. Accepting the award, Bob and, and Dustin Stanley. shop fabrication and manufacturing expertise, including laser cutting and lots of other sophisticated processes. The challenge for them will be in the front end to validate a workable business model. Uh, they're making a segue from uh, a fab shop into product design, and uh, the Nucleus Launch It program is perfect and ideal for them to develop that business model. Our final winner is Wixel Technologies. Jovan Robidello Mendez, CEO and CTO. Please join me, thank you. Wixel Technologies is creating unique ways for visually impaired people to interface with digital information. This is accomplished with a tactile device that allows them to feel information such as maps, 
videos and images. I also went on your patent site and saw that there's something about air and pressure and just fantastic. I had a chance to go to the, um, the Louisville School for the Blind and the, particularly the printing house and saw how important some of those tactile devices are to the visually impaired. So I can't wait to see what's, what's coming next. You're going to do this with maps, videos, and images. Your technology also has an application for video games, medical needs, and the military and aerospace industries. Again, congratulations, Jovan. The selection committee was captivated with Wexel's disruptive and intuitive tactile display product technology with first mover advantages. The impact and fit to the Louisville metro region is poetic. The potential of leveraging Louisville's world-renowned American printing house for the blind in unique international U.S. and Japanese-based technology, DNA, and broad product applications is unique and exciting. The strong pricing opportunity between existing Braille-based technologies and Wexels is huge. To quote, this one really feels like it fits the new spirit of the voting awards. We look forward to having them participate and develop a product and take it to commercialization. Congratulations to you all. Uh, of course, your work isn't over. You just started last night, and I know you have uh, many weeks ahead. To explain what's next, Tendai from GLI's Enterprise Core is going to come up and talk about what the next steps are.